last year, actress Dakota Johnson opened the doors of her home for Architectural Digest. While she's all settled in in her dreamy Los Angeles estate these days, it took her a while to move in, and she purchased it back in 2017. Being the daughter of two icons, you may have guessed Dakota's home is fit for Hollywood royalty. While the home is impressive, it's still serene and modest in many ways. In this video, we'll check out Dakota's Hollywood abode. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Dakota Johnson is an actress and model who made her film debut at the age of 10 with a minor appearance in Crazy Alabama, a dark comedy film her mother starred in. Beyond Dakota's own career, she's also the daughter of actors Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith, while her grandmother is none other than Tippi Hendren, whose film career includes classics like Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds and Marnie. Dakota was discouraged from pursuing acting further until after high school when she began auditioning for roles in LA. She was cast a minor role in The Social Network and then supporting roles in movies like 21 Jump Street and The Five Year Engagement. In 2015, Dakota got her first starring role as Anastasia in the Fifty Shades film series from 2015 to 2018, which you could say was her big break. From there, she scored more acting roles over the years and even one of my personal faves, Bad Times the El Royale, in which Dakota appeared with an ensemble cast. At the time of this recording, Dakota's net worth is at an estimated $14 million and she put a chunk of that towards her gorgeous home. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We noticed about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed and we're the original celebrity house tour pros, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're checking out where actress Dakota Johnson calls home, aka her beautiful and peaceful Hollywood oasis. We've done videos on the likes of Ashley Simpson and Reese Witherspoon and we'll link to some at the end. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and let me know whose house tour you want to see next. Now let's get into this video. Hi AD, I'm Dakota. Welcome to my house. Dakota's wood framed home features wall sized windows in the living room, perfect for highlighting the crystals in the space, and books line the walls of her home office. From the rooms inside to the citrus trees out back, the Hollywood star's home is a reflection of the things that she loves. While growing up, Dakota was constantly on the road with her famous parents, which taught her a different kind of appreciation for home life. The actress remembers a time when she was delivering an Easter basket to Madonna in 1996, as her then stepfather Antonio Banderas was filming Evita with her in Budapest. While memories like this are amazing, there's still a part of Dakota that was longing for a more grounded life than she had previously. That could explain why she's turned her current and what seems to be her only property into a sanctuary. The actress quietly bought the property in 2016 for $3.55 million in an off-market deal and records show it was acquired by a blind trust linked to celebrity clients. Dakota was so secretive about the purchase that even celeb stalkers and news outlets had a hard time identifying her as the buyer of the Sunset Strip home. News only broke about a year after the purchase, and I think that's about when Dakota finally moved in as well. Her wood framed home was built in 1947 by revered mid century architect Carl Maston and was previously owned by Glee and American crime story creator Ryan Murphy. It's located in Los Angeles, clearly, in the West Hollywood neighborhood, and more specifically, above the famed Chateau Marmont. Dakota's famous neighbors include the likes of Kendall Jenner, Sandra Bullock, and just two doors down is Jimmy Kimmel. Sitting on a quarter acre lot, naturally the property is completely walled, gated, and secured with cameras. Listing materials described it as one of the true masterpieces of the modernist movement, meticulously restored with modern systems. Her home boasts three bedrooms and three baths within 3,210 square feet of living space, and Dakota admits it was only the second home she looked at and the first house she ever bought. She explains, I was immediately drawn to how it was clean but also cozy. I thought I'll never want to sell this place. And that seems like the case so far. Among the common spaces, there's a living room with floor to ceiling glass walls and a stone fireplace. The Dakota is fitted with beautiful vintage furniture and a piano. And this is the living room. I hang out in here. I read. People kind of are always coming in and out of my house and 
Everyone hangs out in this room, obviously. One thing that stands out about her place is that it actually looks like somebody lives in it. Many celebrity homes often seem so spotless and minimalistic that it feels like a showroom, while Dakota's house is the opposite. And she has a dog, so that makes the place really a home. Dakota's formal dining room boasts a custom glass table, as well as some uplifting crystals on display. I'm jealous of those. The restored residence has an Eden chef's kitchen with top of the line stainless steel appliances and marble countertops, but it may may not be as big as you'd expect. Dakota painted the kitchen green as well, which she says is her favorite color. Although Dakota didn't invite anyone upstairs, the second level is completely private for her spacious master suite. There are wooden walls, a sitting area, spa-like bath, and views of the city lights. When designing her residence, they installed wood flooring in the master, which includes the bedroom and wardrobe, and for the bathroom, the same concrete as downstairs. While Dakota's entire home is delightful, this one room she feels the most at home in is her office, which she lined with books and memorabilia close to her heart. I actually don't really get any work done because I get distracted by everything that's in here. Some of the most notable pieces here are a seating card Patty Smith gave her with her phone number on it, a note from her famous grandmother, and a photo of her appearance on SNL's 40th anniversary show in 2015. A special spot on the wall is reserved for a photo of Hunter S. Thompson, a close friend of Dakota's dad, Don Johnson. Thompson wrote famous books like Fear and Loathing and Las Vegas and the Rum Diary, and he shared a bond with Dakota, acting like a godfather figure. One thing's for sure, Dakota is an old soul. Her antique pieces and unique design in the home showcase her personal style, and since the house is covered in wood, it makes for a warm and intimate space. Moving outside, just beyond the glass sliders in the living room, you'll find a swimming pool. Her backyard is surrounded by nature and greenery providing a ton of privacy and the lower level of the property has a dog run. There's an entertainer space with a barbecue, fire pit and patio and Dakota also shows off a table which was made from the wood of Winston Churchill's yacht. Definitely a piece of history. On an upper level in the yard there's also a hot tub. So I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right there. After looking at Dakota Johnson's one and only house or her Hollywood sanctuary, what did you guys think? I think her home said a lot about her personality and she did a great job putting thought into every room while designing. From the messy bookshelves in her office to the restored vintage furniture, everything about Dakota's home says that you're home. It's no wonder that it helps ground the actress, letting her retreat when her schedule isn't so busy, and I'm sure perfect for the lockdown year that was 2020. Dakota even said about her home, this place is my anchor. So what was your favorite part of the actress's home? What did you like or not like? Let me know down in the comments. Personally, I love the living room best since it's full of vintage furniture and opens to the pool, as well as the nook outside where she has her private hot tub. Not to mention those beautiful crystals she has. I especially love the huge one by the door. Talk about good vibes.